Welcome to Mind, Body and Soul. I am your host, John Morris. And it is a stormy, stormy day here in Scotland. But today I want to turn my attention to a chapter within my book, The Battles We All Face, as I talk to you about what anxiety is and how we overcome it. Anxiety comes as a result of fear or trauma. It is not something that we are born with. It is something we develop. It occurs mostly from the over expectations of another, be it in the workplace, school, college, university, home, relationships, etc. The list goes on and on and on and often presents itself in many forms, be it social anxiety, generalized anxiety, obsessive compulsive disorder, OCD, panic disorder, PTSD, post-traumatic stress disorder, or post-traumatic stress syndrome, social phobia, or social anxiety disorder. My personal definition is much simpler than that. Anxiety comes from fear, and it is okay to admit that. It is also okay to admit that anxiety, like so many mental health battles here in 2022, is not normal and should not be treated as such. Bear with me, I know that may make many people angry, but let me explain and you'll understand why. When we treat something as normal, we are giving it the green light and saying it's okay to be this way. In short, what society says is, it's okay for you to be that way, and it's okay for you to live that way and stay in that mindset. Rather than you saying, no, it's not okay, I don't want to be on pills for the rest of my life, and I want to do something about it. Do you see the difference? Anxiety, as I mentioned, comes from fear. Fear of the past or fear of the future. Fear of what could be or fear of what has been. When anxiety strikes, we can feel everything from shortness of breath to a desire to hug the radiator for protection, from dizzy spells from a compl- to a complete meltdown. Our brains are like any other muscle, and how we train and feed our brains will determine on how that muscle grows. Feed it with loud, horror-based sensory inputs, and it's no wonder why you're scared to death of everything around you. However, in my self-research and testing, feed your mind with monotone audiobooks that are listened to specifically through headphones and you'll find quite the opposite. This is a practice like going to the gym or taking your medication. It must be practiced regularly. For me, there is not a day that goes by that I do not practice this. As a result, my intelligence on all areas has changed. I and I have had zero panic attacks or anxiety attacks in over 14 months. Anxiety is something that can be overcome, but you have to be willing to put in the work and the effort. If you need help in this, or even for accountability, drop me a message. We offer services of this nature and we can work together. Remember, your mind is going to give out what you put into it. You put anger in, anger is going to come out. You put peaceful things in, peace is what's going to come out. The same way that you feed your body, what you put in, you are going to get out. As I mentioned, if you need mentoring or guidance in the area, drop me a message or visit me at thejohnmorris.co.uk. But for now, God bless my friend, namaste, begin living your life, you can overcome anxiety.
If you enjoyed this video, as always, don't forget to like, share and subscribe, give it a thumbs up. If you've got any questions for us, do drop us a message in the comment section and share this with a friend because you just never know when what you share will be the very thing they need to hear in their moment of darkness. God bless.